What's up, YouTube? Today I'm trying out for the WNBA. Me and Gianna are hitting glutes and hamstrings and we're taking a very technical and expert and sciencey approach to our workouts. All of these are stolen from Iron University on Instagram. Um, first, we are starting out with a glute triple extension. It looks like a hip thrust, but apparently he says, quote unquote, it is nothing like a hip thrust. Also, he says that hip thrusts build your waist, especially if you're extending at the bottom. When you pick up your waist, you're building your waist. Don't quote me on any of this stuff, okay? He's not responsible for what comes out of my mouth. We set up this whole contraption and then throughout this whole session, we're gonna be doing a ton of workouts from him so shout out thank you so much you want to start like this with your back show it from the side essentially this is not ideal for the back but in the starting position you want your back to be completely straight in a straight line I'm doing the best I can right now because it fucking hurts and then you start with your heels all the way down and as you go up you pretend you're doing a backflip and then you see how my feet get pointed at the top so it's triple extension because you extend your hips knees and ankles I think right yeah you never want to extend your spine like that ever so keep your chin tucked your spine neutral and straight the whole time and then at the bottom I'm pushing against the bar there's a lot of different ways to do this exercise but this is the contraption that we could come up with here the back piece is not the most comfortable at all but it is what it is what happened to religion oh she loves it she putting on her makeup she casually a law Text message breakups, the casualty of tour. How she gonna wake up and that love me no more? I thought I was the asshole. I guess it's rubbing off. Hood phenomenon, the LeBron I rhyme. Hard to be humble when you stunting on a jumble trying. I'm looking at her like, this what you really wanna, huh? Why we argue anyway? Oh, I forgot it's summertime. Put your hands to the constellations. The way you look should be. Your Next, we have you upper glute hands. squats and Smith machine. Basically, it is this upper half movement of a regular squat. So this is where the top half of the squat is where you're using this part of your glutes to get up. So basically form wise, just get under the weight, natural stance, feet shoulder width, toes straight, don't point them outwards, and pop your chest, and then let the weight go on your heels. Don't walk out at the top. Gianna just told me this, because I like didn't know what to do at the top, but she was just like, pretend you're falling backwards and keep tension on your glutes. But you should feel this like right here. We have a lovely demonstrator right here. Don't leave while you hot, this how May screwed up. Throwing shit around, the whole place screwed up. Maybe I should call May so he could pray for us. I hit the Jamaican spot at the bar, take a seat. I ordered your jerk, she said you are what you eat. <laughs> you see, I always loved a sense of humor. But tonight you should have seen how quiet the room was. The Leo Cone. It doesn't, obviously. It looks like a frog swimming in a Guys, pond. They're just bullshitting an exercise. This no, isn't even a real insane. thing. We're making uh. shit up. Oh my god. <laughs> Yes. Uh, He's help. gonna hurt himself. This is the frog one. Uh, and this is a fury. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is not an exercise. Gianna, what am I doing wrong? This don't feel right. <laughs> She's a shark. Yeah. <laughs> this just hurts my stomach. That just hurts my stomach. I mean, I felt it. Nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. I'm a bodybuilder and I compete and I'm better than everyone because I eat chicken and rice. Eat it yet. Could you be more phony? Put your hands to the constellation. The way you look should be a sin. You my sensation. <laughs> Ever said a word? Ever said a word to me this evening? Cat got your
Hey guys, so welcome back from the gym. It's been a few days. Gianna's somehow still here. She won't leave me the fuck alone. So many of you guys on my Snapchat want to know my egg, how I cook my eggs. I do actually have a secret way though. I'm gonna show you guys that. And everyone also wants to know how to make steaks. So Riley and I are gonna be teaching you, Chef and I are gonna be teaching you how to make some steak. The eggs are already on, so you wanna put the stove on medium. And then at about this time, when you can sense that it's like, you see how it doesn't look stuck to the pan anymore? I separate my eggs and then, okay, flip them. How am I gonna flip this? I flip them. And then after I flip them, turn the stove off, right? And then I go in and season them. Uh, we have an audience. These are my seasonings. I'm gonna South African smoke. Everything but the bagels, sesame. Himalayan salt, pepper. I usually would either pick this or this, but I can't pick anymore, so I just put both. Pepper. By the way, all the seasoning is from Trader Joe's. This is kind of fucked because... Um, excuse me. We're doing something over here. Tequila. So step one, obviously cut open the steak, drain the blood. Used by 11.06. It's the fifth. Should we do a smell test? Nah, I think you can still eat it. I think it's good. No, I don't think so. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow, ad break, because that smells fucking disgusting and I'm not eating rotten steak. Hey guys, we're back. It's a few days later. Uh, I think we filmed the last portion almost a week ago. So now we're going to cook some steak because we're finally eating healthy again. So we went to Trader Joe's and we restocked and um, we're gonna make some New York strip steak. Strip, strip steak. Oh my. Always butter, no olive oil for steak. And, whoa, I get really tall when I do that. Do I have jumpies? Do I have jumpies? <laughs> I'm gonna start <laughs> the next. If I ever meet an NBA not. player in person, hey, bro, you got jumpies or Wait, what, bro? <laughs> Wait, no, do it again. I have to give you like a six inch vertical. Okay. Chef Ryder also taught me this a little stem of rosemary. So, you want about two tablespoons of butter. So, we have to dry this because it was extremely bloody. I'm gonna throw it on a napkin. Oh, yeah, the last segment I was not. Brunette. I went back to my natural hair color, but except I have some highlights, so. I hope you guys like it. If you don't, then I guess you can unfollow. Like, if you unlike it that bad, you can unfollow then, I guess. Okay, these bad boys are padded up. I'm gonna put them over on the plate to season them. So I turned the pan on so I could heat it up. The butter melted already because it was on earlier. Steak, you only want to season with salt and pepper. Is that good? No. More? Yeah. Dang. More? You want me to show them how it's done? A pinch full of salt. Oh my god, that's cancer. Oh, we're fucked. No, it's not. We're fucked. And then after some salt. Yes. Some pepper. Yes. You don't want to put too much pepper because then it's going to taste like pepper. You don't want your steak to taste like pepper. You want it to taste like a steak. Also. Fuck. Oh, fuck. There you go. Oh my. So, dude, we're over seasoning these. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just, I'm not a real chef. I just, <laughs> I just be figuring shit out. When you have a fat piece of steak. Okay. Like this. Yeah. You want to start with the fatty side because it's going to give the pan more grease. How do you just know that? Because I know everything. Okay. Yep. So he just flipped this one. It's been around... How long has it been? I didn't flip it. Ow! Fuck! Oh. Ow! Turn it down. Turn it down. So yeah, but be careful with high heat because this shit can pop and it fucks you up. All right. So he just flipped them. Tell them how you know when to flip it. You just look at it. I mean, he's right. Like, eventually you get used to, like, you just know when to because of how squishy it is and what the crust looks like. But there have been times where me and him have overcooked or undercooked. You just got to get one, a feel this, for it. This one might be low-key a little overcooked. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it does but, look good. But this one's going to be perfect. This one's good, though. I think we'll end up splitting this, and then this is trash. Stop poking it. Thanks to You're you. letting the juices out. Stop poking it. Ariel doesn't did know how to cook. Did we groceries? Did you never pay me for half of mine, did you? I was thinking about it earlier. <laughs> you didn't say anything, asshole. No, I was going to. After <laughs> the video. Oh, also my outfit. I'm wearing full Young Lady for Hers Black Friday. This is the Urban Collection. I'm wearing the straight leg sweatpants as well as a crop tee. And I'm wearing this really cute set under. At first I was a hater of these, but I actually really like them. So it's just kind of like halter top. 
with these cross straps that you tie in the back. These shorts are, I think, seven or eight in seam, and I, when they're longer like that, it's like a bigger butt illusion because there's more fabric on the bottom. I'm not going to show you guys my ass right now, but it just makes it look bigger. The Black Friday sale starts November 21st. Whole site's going to be 30% off. There's 30-something item dropping... 30 something items dropping for men's and 20 something items dropping for women's. The sale lasts an entire week. My code RAARI, 30% off the whole week. And no, you cannot stack the Black Friday code in my code. It's 30% off when you use my code. But yeah, it's gonna be sick. Save your money and buy something for sure. This whole collection, I'm, I keep getting, I get compliments every day. I literally went to yoga yesterday and she's like, where's your yoga set from? And I told her and she's like, oh, okay. Like as if she knew the brand, but I know she didn't. Anyways, that's when you know it's cute. So Gorilla Mind. They have a Black Friday drop. Beef liver. I don't know the benefits for this. Cognitive health. It basically keeps your brain and your heart processing correctly. And it increases your baseline dopamine level. Wow, okay, very nice. It's very uh, liver king of them. Right? He honestly would probably hate these. He'd probably just be like, just eat the testicles. And then we have Gorilla Mind Smooth 2.0. Everyone raves about this. It reminds me of a very specific thing you take to do your homework. Really oh no, you know what really reminds you of that? This is smooth with 150 milligrams of caffeine in it. Is that what it is? Yeah. So this is the same thing except this has caffeine in it. Yeah. Oh yeah, people are fucked. Like you're gonna So this be... is like extra, if you really wanna focus on your homework, if you know what I mean, like those, the people that take stuff to focus on their schoolwork, this is what it reminds me of. We have new flavor. I'm, I don't, I feel like it's gonna taste like shit. Bike cider? Yeah, it looks like it's gonna taste like shit. Maybe it won't. We'll no see. offense, girl of mine, please pay me this month. <laughs> Maybe it won't taste like shit. But yeah, mode and nitric, and that's the Black Friday drop. Whole size gonna be 30% off. They also made this ugly ass shirt, but I'm not gonna promote that to you guys. It's really bad. What the fuck is that? I know. It's called the sauna t-shirt. I don't know why there's a radio on it, but. Yeah, what does it have to do with the sauna? Are you supposed to wear it in the sauna? I know, like, it's I, like your beater, like throwaway t-shirt. Really, this Yangele backpack, everyone raved about for like a minute. If you're a weirdo and you're like, your backpacks open up like that, this is the backpack for you. Okay, enough billboard. Can we cut the steak now? Yeah. Okay, thank God. Should we cut into the shitty one first? Yes, one? yes, let's see. No sh- <gasps> What? It's all right, it's a little overcooked. Okay, but like, that's not bad at all. We thought it was gonna be brown. White, no, it's, it's overcooked. Dude, the steaks we've been getting recently are white inside. Why is that? Like, what the fuck? This reaction, every you could eat like oh, you could eat cardboard and you have oh, it. Oh my god! Nah, oh you're lying. My. You're lying. Oh my god! Okay, we get it. We get it. Let me try. Guys, y'all are fucking missing out. Rylan, hurry up! Wow. <laughs> Hold it. I'm dropping the camera. I'm dropping your million dollar camera. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh wow. <laughs> that shit's crazy. Where are my hoes at? If y'all want a chef, if y'all want a husband that can cook. That looks disgusting. I, yeah, I don't know why the meat's not, I don't know why the meat's white. Oh my God, it looks so juicy. Did you hear that sound? <laughs> nah, this sounds so good. You should call her. Guys, yeah, call her. Mmm. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. That's the end of this video. I know we've been inconsistent with YouTube. Trying to find my flow. I think I'm changing my video style up to more personable vlog styles. To be honest, I cannot keep up with all the crazy pranks and stuff. And there are a lot of people out there who do it better than me. So I'm just gonna leave that to them. And then instead on this channel, I'm gonna give you guys a good time and kind of have you follow along with me. You guys are like my little friends. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, go join it. We literally hang out in there all the time. I'm not as active as I wanna be, but I'm trying. I love you guys so much. I will see you in a few days for the try Hall because I'm gonna post that in the middle of the week. This is coming out on a Sunday, that'll be posted Wednesday. Love you guys. Mwah. What happened to religion? Oh, she loves it. She putting on her makeup. She casually a lord. Text message breakups. The casualty of tour.